What's with the life preserver? Dork thinks he's gonna drown. And we're gonna have to move the logo pretty soon. Just sold another giant coffee cup, this time to a cemetery company, which is not what I was expecting. That's not, I'm not making that up. It is a company that builds and sets up cemeteries. For some reason, they just wanted a giant coffee cup. And I'm happy to oblige, I guess. But it is Monday, it is time to look at the goal board. We did a real good job. Introduced six products last week, including on Friday, two products on the same day, which is not normally a great strategy. Want to spread it out so people get the notifications. But six for the week ain't bad. And we went on two walks, which were very enjoyable. And I, there were some good rants on those walks. So yeah, we're gonna add those extremely satisfying tally marks. Here we go, satisfaction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, really coming along. Yeah, apparently they say they're using this giant coffee cup for a trade show. A, a cemetery company. I told him to send pics. Morning roundup. We've been progressively, I did not mean to do that, printing parts of the dragon, and we got the last part right here. Oh yeah, today's gonna be a good day to move more stuff. We've got Big Sharky here, and something weird went on with Einstein here, but you'll notice this Bowden tube is getting pretty stretched. Theoretically, it should have been fine, but sometimes it's good just to make sure you have a good amount of slack in the Bowden tube. So we'll probably replace that and it may have had something to do with this problem. You know, diagnosing problems with printers, it's surprising how much stuff from the show house like comes to mind. Like if you notice something unusual with a printer and the printer's having a problem, obviously that doesn't necessarily mean that the thing is causing the thing, but the fact that there's a weird thing and a problem really makes you think, hmm, are these things related? And they very often are. And we've got shoe feet. These are actually going red. And I think we finally printed enough gargoyle knobs. Yup. We're printing a lot of the stuff that uh, would have, I'm trying to think how to say this. We are not printing the things that didn't sell from the time when a lot of things didn't sell. Yeah, there are these like thoughts that actually don't translate well into sentences. And that was one of them. One thing that does translate well is, welcome to M3 is 3D. Every day I shoot a short film documenting a slice of life of the 3D printing entrepreneur. We've been in business for six years. This is how it all works. Also translates well, coffee. But before coffee, I just wanna say, this is gonna be the new product. The black and white fade guitar wall hanger octo i don't even know how to say it but we are going to take pictures of that today it's going to be really glorious i think it's going to look super cool oh yeah and the new coffee cup is in a new color which means it gets to be a new product which is awesome see i've had a lot of coffee cup sales i think partly because i've got a lot of coffee cup listings every time i've said this before but every time somebody orders it in new in a new color i just make that a new product and there's a good excuse for it etsy only lets you upload 10 pictures so you can always say like well yeah i just made a new listing so we can show people all the colors and stuff which is true but if you vary your seo up a little bit on each listing you know it's it makes people more likely to see your products there is a method to the madness also we got to take pictures man we got to take a lot of pictures today we got to take pictures of the ice cream cone the white ice cream cone and the yellow coffee cup so we're doing three photo sets today actually maybe we'll only do two and we'll make one of those new ones that i just mentioned the product for today i guess the guitar hanger can wait see this really is the thought processes, some of the thought processes that I have during the course of a normal day. Because it's like, taking photos does take a while. I mean, I've kind of gotten better at it. I've been doing it for a few years, doing the posing and stuff. And so, like, I don't have to do as many takes 
but you still have to do quite a few takes to get 10 good photos. It takes a while, so it's like, do I really want to do three photo sets if I can only do two? And then, yeah, we'll make one of those two the product for the day. So, yeah. You're getting, you're getting the real slice of life. You're getting the unvarnished truth on this channel. And I think that's why a lot of people watch it. Oh yeah, probably in a few days, we're doing the Lufkin thrift trip. Typically, I do that on the first of each month, but some of the stores are closed and things, so you gotta pick what day you wanna go a little more carefully. But yeah, we'll try and get a bunch of stuff done so we can do the thrift trip. Remember the episode a few episodes ago where I said my sort of ex is running for mayor? I'm seeing signs for her name around here. I feel like I shouldn't show them because I don't want to, I don't think that would be doxing, but it just feels like I'm crossing a line. I mean, I said it in the episode, but it would be the most ironic thing in the world if she became mayor of Nacogdoches and then found some way of shutting down my business. And to drown out the possibility of that in my mind, we are getting Dutch Brothers. We are getting the fancy coffee today. Dutch Brothers is kind of nice because almost everything they have can be ordered and sugar-free. I'm not saying I totally trust those sugar-free sweeteners. Some of that stuff seems like it just can't be. I just, I'm too skeptical, but a little bit here and there ain't gonna hurt nothing. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Sugar-free. Technically the little bits on top aren't, but hey, live a little. I think you know where we are now. You know, I'm something of a family crisis myself. Wow, kind of really like that. Wow, I didn't even know stuff like that existed. Also, it's kind of tempting. I used to have the entire series and the behind the scenes stuff is really good. Screw it, $2.99, I'm doing it. I think I always assumed Jan and Dean were a couple, like Jan, Jan. Some pretty good surf tracks here. I think we're gonna get it. That's kind of cool. One of those old school scales. For bowls. Wow, look at that. $2.99. This is one of the best candle values I've ever seen. We put the season of house back because I remembered all of that uh, special feature stuff is typically on YouTube, so there's no reason to pay for it at all. But we did get the Jan and Dean, and we did get the massive, massive candle. I mean, that's probably like a $10 candle for three bucks right there. Blah. It's hard to do that one-handed. Please play. There we go. Were Jan and Dean like some of the first people to rip off the Beach Boys? Maybe. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Come. You don't know what I got. You know, what's wrong with music nowadays? Nobody writes songs about cars anymore. It really is a shame. Back at the shop, we're gonna get pictures of the new items. We're gonna start making some Philly, and uh, then we're gonna package slash paint. Somewhere in the middle of all that, we're gonna start moving stuff again as well. All right, time for the big reveal. Bam! Look at that ice cream boy. Let's get some photos. I think we're gonna take pictures of the ice cream first, but let's let's also reveal the big coffee. There we go, a nice yellow coffee. Nobody cared who I was. 
till I put on the shirt. And it's listed. We're cranking out the hits. I had to do a little touch up paint on the big coffee cup. So hopefully we'll still get those pictures done today, but let's move on to some other things. And we have our first Freud of the evening, big Einstein can and a dragon. And we got a couple of shoe feet, sharky boy. Here goes nothing. Okay, so this episode may end up being slightly shorter than some of the other episodes. It's been because of this printer. I've done a million things to it, and I think it's finally working now. But I literally changed the extrusion motor. I put a different extruder assembly. I did all kinds of stuff just to get this friggin' thing to work. It takes a lot of effort to make this stuff. It's hard to put these things into words. Just know there's a reason nobody does large 3d printing it sucks except when it doesn't bit of a light day painting wise got the feet of course einstein can gonna be doing the dragon and the freud and after the red feet got the big einstein got dragon got freud got sharky all right i think we're gonna tape off the hot dog, as you can see, we meticulously found a very specific color for the hot dog itself. And that's pretty close to hot dog color. I'm gonna tape this off, I'm gonna paint the bun. And then of course, we will bolt the two halves together. You can access the bolts in the cavity here. And now the mustard strips. If you don't know what this is, you're gonna see. Time to ship off the gargoyle guitar knobs. Small, but mighty. Now we're gonna do Stego Pick. It's got the fragile little spiky things here, so we do the giant bubble bundle there. And we got the silver hippo. Last official act of the day, we're sending off the ice cream and the new uh, yellow coffee cup. Since the same person ordered these two, we're just putting the ice cream inside of here, wrapping the whole thing up. That way, only one package, one label. Oh boy, that's a full day right there. I can't even grab stuff. Finally got this little turd of a bass to print but it just, it went kicking and screaming. Man, every, every time adds like a year, takes away a year of my life. Oh man, I am so beat. It's almost hard to think at this point in the day, but let's see, what am I grateful for? Honestly, I'm pretty grateful that we got two new big food items to list. Obviously we listed the ice cream today, but tomorrow we're gonna list the new color of coffee cup. It's a pretty big deal. The big food items get a lot of um, a lot of search traffic, so that's why I'm focusing on them. And it's pretty cool that somebody effectively paid me to make two more. This is pretty funny. Somebody uh, captioned my photo on Discord. If you wanna read it, Join the Discord, link below. All right, on Discord, Toasty O's posted this. Apparently that's how they make their hot dogs in New England. I'm not gonna act like that doesn't sound pretty good. All right, this one's kind of kind of long, but it's worth it. Dash Render says, over the last few days, I've been thinking about the comment M3 is 3D made about getting the giant cup of coffee into local coffee shops. This is a half thought. <laughs> Walk into 
the fancy coffee place and order and say, I brought my own cup today, obviously bringing the big cup, everyone will laugh. Sit at one of the tables and drink your order with the print on the table. 100% you'll get comments. I'm sure the management will ask you about it. April Fool's Day, uh, lest you avoid looking like a a-hole. Bring business cards. Profit. I might do that. It would make some pretty good content for the video. Comment below if you want me to actually do that. SC Bickle says, but the only coffee shop is Dunkin'. How's that going to work? My brain watching while making coffee this morning should have gotten the unicorn taking a bite. Ah, there it is. There are other coffee shops. There is a coffee shop that's locally owned, and that's what I would do. Dash Render said, fancy coffee. See, even my even my hardcore fans know there's at least two coffee shops. Thanks for noticing. I think there's five places to get coffee here. I just don't go to most of them. Let's see, on YouTube, EMF Miner says, you can be happy in the city or miserable in the country, but nature deficit disorder is a thing. It sounds like a thing. CSI 3 d says, we are star people, but we are grateful. Heck yeah. Everybody is a star. You're a shining star, no matter who you are. If you're a shining star, write a comment below about what you're grateful for. I like to know what's lighting up your day, what's lighting up your life. What do you like about the episodes? What do you see, want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? Be polite. Be polite now. But thanks for watching. Each and every one of you, very grateful. And I will see you on the next episode. Peace.